Hi, welcome to my channel all about mechanical engineering. In today's video, we will take an example on projection of lines on a category when the distance between end projectors of a line is given to us. In order to have a better understanding, let's take an example. So as the question states here, the end projectors of a line PQ is 50 mm apart. The point P is 20 mm below HP and 25 mm behind VP. The other end Q is 12 mm above HP and 40 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections of the line. Find its true length, inclination with HP and VP. Also find its traces. So let's extract the given data first. First thing, the name of the line that is PQ. Then end projector distance, which is given as 50 mm. Then position of front view and top view of point P, that is 20 mm below HP and 25 mm behind VP. Similarly, the positions of front view and top view of end point Q is also mentioned, that is 12 mm above HP and 40 mm in front of VP. What is required to be found? True length. Inclination with HP that is theta, inclination with VP that is phi, and the traces HT and VT. Let's try to understand what is given to us by putting this data on this solution. So, this is the solution I'm using because this is commonly used for a straightforward question in which the line is stated in first quadrant. In order to understand each category, you can compare any question with this. First thing, end projector distance is given to us. What is the meaning of end projector distance? So this is the line on which front view and top view of P, that is P dash and P are mentioned. So this is called projector of P. And similarly, Q dash and Q are on the single vertical line, which is called as projector of Q. So between these two, this distance, that is called as end projector distance, in this question, it is mentioned as 50 mm. Then, front view and top view positions are given. No doubt, this question has first quadrant given as the quadrant of the line. Here, you will have to have the same positions, but the front view and top view positions are mentioned because the distances with respect to HP and VP are mentioned in the question. So, we have this front view and top view positions. Similarly, we also have the front view and top view positions of endpoint Q. Now, let's try to draw the solution. So, this is the given data we have. We are keeping this for our reference. Starting with the first, that is XY line, drawing a vertical projector, naming it as a projector of P. From this projector of P, taking horizontal distance 50 mm, drawing another projector, calling it as projector of endpoint Q. Now, as per the given positions, endpoint P is in third quadrant because it says 20 mm below HP and 25 mm behind VP. So, from XY below 20 mm, you will have the front view point of P that is P dash and 25 mm above XY, you will get the top view point of endpoint P. Similarly, 12 mm above, you will get the front view point of Q, that is Q dash, because as per the given quadrant, it is above HP and 40 mm in front of VP. It states it is in first quadrant, so front view will be above XY and top view will be below XY. So, top view is 40 mm below XY line, and this is Q here. Now, if you compare this with this solution, you have P dash and Q dash with you. If you join them, you will get the front view of the given line. Similarly, you have to join P and Q, you will obtain the top view of the given line. Now here, once you have obtained the front view and top view of the given line, that is P dash, Q dash and P, Q, if we compare this with the previous solution here, once we have the front view P dash Q dash, it can be rotated back in order to obtain Q2 dash, which is available 
when this front view is being made parallel to xy line here so keeping a compass at p dash here taking the distance from p dash to q dash near compass rotating it back up to this horizontal line where p dash is labeled and the name of this point will be q2 dash as you can see here this q2 dash is further projected up to the locus of q in top view so here this is the locus of q in top view so from this point you have to draw a vertical line and the name of this point if you can see here it is q2 so q2 is labeled here now q2 is joined with p so you have to join it and this is the true length which was asked in the question once you have obtained this true length just take this length in your compass keep the compass at p dash and draw an arc on this locus like this the name of this point as we can see here q dash is there and the next to it is q1 dash so you have to join this point with p dash and label this point as q1 dash so this is the inclination that is theta that is inclination with hp and this is the inclination with vp that is phi regarding the traces the front view where it intersects with xy is labeled as h a vertical projector from h until it meets the top view that is this point is called as ht that is horizontal trace similarly the point at which the top view meets xy that is this point is v a vertical projector from v where it intersects with front view that is this point is vt vertical trace these are the angle theta with hp and phi with vp if you try to solve this question you will get true length as 88 mm theta is 22 degrees phi 48 degrees hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching